Welcome to Football Helmet Theater. Today's adventure begins in the Heroes locker room. Hi guys, my name is Trey and I'm here to play for the Heroes. I heard this team is really, really good and I can't wait to be a part of it. And uh, you know, sitting out here, I'm just thinking my fantasy team is gonna be absolutely loaded this year. And uh... I hope I get to know all you guys really well. Tell me some stories about your past. Tell me about all those super close playoff games that you guys were in. Hmm. You guys have been in the playoffs, right? Hmm. You guys have been in the playoffs, right? Hmm. Oh man, I hope I get traded soon. This has been Football Helmet Theater. Hello, welcome to Fantasy Football Today. Today I'm joined by Cody Schindler via video to discuss his new membership in the league and to see how things are going so far. Welcome, Cody. Again, uh, thanks for uh, letting me in the league. I'm excited to be a part of things. Seemed like it was a close vote, 6-5, so uh, happy to be here and looking forward to getting to work. All right, my first question to you is, after you found out you were in the league and you got a look at your roster, what was your main reaction? And there you have it. Thank you for joining us, Cody. That'll do it for our show today. Join us next time on Fantasy Football Today. You know, I was just walking down the street and uh, got me thinking that uh, with three championships under my belt, I uh, should start getting a little more respect from the community. And I think they should name a street after me. I mean, after all, they've already named a street after the guy who I beat in the championship last year and who I have one more title than. And if he can get a street, I think I should get a street. What street was named after Ryan, you say? So anyways, time to give Mr. Beast a little respect. Mr. Beast's Avenue. Coming soon, I hope. Oh, look at that. There's a note on my front step. Look at that. It's a coded note from Ryan. I'll have to go inside and see what it says. Okay, I've deciphered Ryan's note, and here's what he says. Mr. B, you are a... You can take your championships and... And you and the Boydock Mafia are... So don't mess with rye bread, you... Love, Ryan. Okay guys, now it's time to make my pick. And to do that, I have to head out to the balcony. Wisconsin out here on my balcony, my brand new balcony furniture. Uh, just a small trend of uh, doing these videos from your balcony. I don't have a balcony, but I have a little porch out here. I feel like a patio is basically like a balcony, but better anyway. I decided to take a page out of Brennan's book and film my own little video from my own balcony here in the lovely St. Charles. Once out here on the balcony, I want to join my, uh, my trophy and uh, my new helmet. And I'm going to tell you my selection. So, with the 13th pick in the 2021 draft, I have made a couple moves. Well, one move to uh, slide up to a spot that I hope might pay off. Last year, I made a choice that I thought was better for the team, and that didn't pan out, taking uh, Keyshawn Vaughn over Justin Jefferson. But I'm back at it. I'm going to make a move that I think is hopefully good for the team, and I'm going to get uh, New England's other quarterback to go with Cam and Newton. I'm going to pick Mac and Cheese, Mac Jones from the New England Patriots.
Smoke weed every day. Shinwoo, you're on the clock.